Hello and welcome to third video on Content Based Recommendation System. I'm Pratik and in this video we are going to build a better Content Based Recommendation System. In the last two videos we built a very basic recommendation system using just genre attribute and different vectorizers like binary feature matrix, bag of words and tfidf. But in this video, we will add genome tags into our attribute, which is genre column, and use bag of words vectorizer to build a better recommendation system. Since we have already seen the maths behind working of this recommendation system in the last video, let's go ahead and dive into the coding part now. So um, I have already connected the collab file to my Google Drive because that is where I have stored the data. And uh, for this project, uh, I'm going to use 25 million data set because genome tax is not available for 10 million data set. Uh, by movie lens, it is available for 100K data set and 25 million data set. So that's why I'll go with the 25 million data set. And uh, if you're working with 25 million data set, then you would require a lot of RAM. Uh, if I'm not wrong, it uses around 33, 34 GB of RAM. And in order to do that, so I have already uh, made sure that, you know, I'm getting 35 GB of RAM here. In order to do that, you can just go to the notebook settings and make sure that you have, you're using TPU as an accelerator with high RAM. So that would give you around 35 GB of uh, storage, uh, sorry, RAM. Uh, now, so my, Collab file is already connected to the drive. I have imported the required packages. Next thing is to import the required files. So these are the three files that we are going to import. Um, the first file is the movies data frame. And uh, this contains around 62,423 movies. The other file is basically genome tags. So this is so there are 11,028 different tags which uh, which are there in this genome tags file and the genome score file basically contains all the movies and the tags associated with that so this is approximately 15.5 million rows of uh, rows of data is there in this and so what it means is like movie 1 uh, movie ID with like movie the, which has the ID 1 uh, has tag ID 1 as well with the relevancy score of 0 0.02. Movie ID 1 also has another tag associated with it 007 with a relevance score of 0 0.02 again and so on. So we are going to use these two files to create a new column called tags and then we'll use that for our recommendation system. So once we have this, the next step would basically be to, you know, join uh, genome tags and genome score to get all those tags against all these movie IDs. So this is what merge genome. This is what our final data frame is going to look like. So movie ID has a tag of 007, movie ID one has also a tag of 007 series, 18th century, 1920, 19, 1930, and so on. Now, the next thing we want to do is, so it depends on you how you want to filter this. Um, I am personally not going to use all the tags against all the movies. Uh, so if, if I just see, you know, how many tags are there for movie ID one, um, I can do that by doing something like this merged genome um, and what's the column movie ID so movie ID equals to one so you can see that there are 1128 which is equivalent to the genome tag so you know all these are going to have 1128 rows all the movies which are there 62,400 movies uh, so we don't really need all these tags to be associated with it like for in my uh, case uh, what I'm doing is I am just ta taking those uh, tags you know which has a relevance score of over 0 0.5 
uh, you, what you can do is maybe you can take top 20, top 30, top 50 tags, or you can change this condition according to your requirement. What I'm doing is I'll just go with all the tags which have a relevance score of 0.5 and above. So uh, now if I look at top tags, instead of 15.5 million rows of data, I will have approximately uh, 614,000 rows of data. So that is good. Next thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a data frame and I'll join for each movie ID. I'm going to join all these tags which has a relevance score of 0.5 and above with a comma. And this is what my final data frame is going to look like. So, you know, all those. So I, I would also like to mention that genome tags only contains tags for 13,816 uh, 13, movies. So all 62,000 movies, 61,000 movies, or I think it was 62,000 movies. Yeah, 62,423 movies does not have tags associated with that. So in that case, what will happen is we are going to get a lot of NANs. Now, how to take care of that? Well, what I'm going to do is I will just, uh, you know, replace these NANs with the genre column. So whatever the genre of that movie is will become the tag uh, for those. So again, this is not the best data. It would have been much better if all these movies had some kind of uh, tags associated with it. Now, this is what my final data frame is going to look like. So, you know, each movie has a tag associated with it now. And if there is no tag, then it has its genre working as a tag. Now it's very similar to, you know, what we did in the last video uh, using bag of words. So I have the code ready with me. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a titles list and tags list and then split it using the comma and then create a function for bag of words and uh, then create bag of words. So let me let me do it step by step for you guys. Uh, so here I run this. Then from this, I am going to create bag of words. Now what is my bag of word going to look like here? So, all right, so, so like for this movie, you know, it has action from the genre uh, and then it has tags like affectionate, beautiful scenery and all. So it has counted all these things and created a bags of word for us. Now using bags of words, we are going to create tag data frame. Um, and I will show you what tags data frame looks like. Tag df. Um, so these are like high RAM consuming tasks as well. This might take a while. And once we have our tag data frame created, uh, we are going to calculate, uh, create the cosine similarity matrix and finally create the similarity data frame. So this is what our tag data frame looks like all the tags again against all the movies and then just assigning you know binary feature one and zero to that um, next we create the cosine similarity matrix and the similarity data frame so once we have our similarity data frame created we are just going to input the name of the movie All right, so this might take, so as you can see, you know, it has already consumed 32.6, 33.2 GB of RAM. I'm afraid it can crash as well, which I don't want to happen. It's like 3.4. Um. All right, good thing it did not crash. Now, uh, since we have our similarity data frame created, next we are going to just input the name of the movie. And uh, so as we used in the last videos, the movie that we are going to search for is The Prestige. And next we are going to 
print the top 10 recommendation using the similarity data frame. So this is what our recommendation looks like. We have on the top Shutter Island, uh, Shutter Island followed by Gone Girl, The Machinist, Seven, uh, the unusual suspect, Memento, Gone Baby, Gone, Sixth Sense, Prisoners, Inception. So, uh, so yeah, just by looking at these movies, you can tell that these are very similar movies. But just as a reference, I'm using IMDb. And if I look at the similar movies recommended by IMDb to Prestige are Inception, Memento, Seven, The Departed, Shutter Island. And these are exactly what we are getting in the recommendation. So, we can see that the model that we have created is performing really well. Like it's much, much better than uh, what we created in the you know last videos just by using the genre column. Uh, I'm going to test it on one another movie, which is let's say uh, which is Moneyball. So we need to input the name of the movie, and it should be similar, like exactly like what we have in our uh, database in our movie data frame so i'm going to search for the exact name like this oh, not money but moneyball and this is what the name looks like in our data frame so we'll copy this and then we will paste it here and then run this again so these are the recommendation given for the moneyball the social network rush catch me if you can the fighter, the imitation game. And I can tell you that just by, you know, looking at these movies that this is a pretty good recommendation. But if you want to check it from IMDb, you can see few movies like the social network is there. The big shot is there. So yeah, the recommendation is pretty good. Um, and uh, this is just by using one extra information, which is tags. And uh, mind you that, you know, the genome tag data set does not contain, like it doesn't have tag for all the movies. It only have tags for um, approximately 13,800 movies. Uh, if you want more robust data, you can check out this data set by IMDB. So this is updated on daily basis and uh, it contains movies from 1800 to the future movies which are going to be uh, released. And it contains information like, you know, who's the director of the movie, who's the actor, other crew members, what is the rating, description, uh, what is what is the genre, etc. So it's a very robust data set. Uh, so you can use that. I will probably try to build a new model using this data set and also try to use neural networks to see how it can improve our content based recommendation in the future videos. Uh, if you try a new version of the model that we built by trying different vectorization methods like word to vec or TFIDF or by using other similarity methods like Manhattan distance or Jacquard similarity, then do let me know about the performance of your model in the comments. If you have any questions, you can ask me in the comments. I'll be happy to answer and I'll see you in the next video. Till then, happy learning.